Hi, I hope you're having a good week. This is Mini Pod. No fluff, just good stuff in under five minutes. I want to read to you a journal entry uh, that I made way back in July of 2006. Man, that was a long time ago. One sentence stood out to me. It says, my grandson, that would be Ben, my grandson scratched my left eye with his fingernail Sunday afternoon and I had to go to the emergency room. I remember that. An emergency room. This is where you go when you have an emergency. You don't go there to get one. You go there when you have one and you want someone to take care of you. An emergency, we might define an emergency as something that needs immediate attention. You know, there's got to be many things that seem an emergency to me, but don't seem that way to God. And then, of course, there is the emergency waiting room. How frustrating it is to be left in the waiting room for a long time, especially if you're in pain. And you know the routine. The nurse or the receptionist determines who needs immediate attention and who can wait. Everyone wishes that the doctors and nurses would drop everything and attend to them, but unless you've lost an arm, that seldom happens. You know, it's stupid to have an emergency and not go to the emergency room. If you have to go to the emergency room and you're adre- uh, you know, directed to the waiting room, you got to trust that someone thinks it's okay for you to wait. It's good that God does not cause us you know, to wait because he's too busy with someone else. God has his own waiting room, and when he directs us there, it's for a reason, a reason that is oftentimes unknown to us. Let me give you a few questions that maybe you could reflect upon today. First of all, do you have an emergency that you're currently dealing with? Next, what was the source of your emergency? Was it your fault, the fault of someone else, or just bad luck? Next, do you think God orchestrates our emergencies or merely allows them? Next, what difference does it make? Here's another question for reflection. Are you in a waiting room? Next, what could you be doing while waiting? And then finally, what must you be careful not to do while waiting? Just some things to think about if you're either having an emergency, or in a waiting room. This is Dave Jacobs of Small Church Pastor. Before you leave, click that thumbs up at the bottom of the screen and hit subscribe so you stay on top of all of the new mini pods that come out. I hope the rest of your week is a good one, and I'll be talking to you next week. Bye.